So my friends, Jake Paul vs Hasir Rahman Julia got cancelled. Oh my god. I feel sorry for this guy Jake Paul man. I don't want to come here defending him and shit. But you know what? Tommy Fury pulls out. Now this fucking bozo pulls out. I just wanted to see the fight man. Now let's see what happened. We'll watch both sides. Jake Paul and um, uh, Jake Paul and Hasim's side. And we will di dissect and see who is wrong and who is right. Now let's see. Alright, so first Jake Paul came out and this is what he said. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, this is, what, this, this is what he says, basically. It's a two part. No, we have seen the watch. news. Hasim Rockman Jr. has pulled out of the fight. This is not a joke. I am devastated. I cannot fucking believe this. We just found out this news. And it, this is just another case of a professional boxer, just like Tommy Fury, being scared to fight me. It's as clear as day that these guys have been so unprofessional to work with, looking for any excuse to suck more money out of this event, to, to coerce us into doing things. And from the jump, I knew in the bottom of my heart that this guy didn't want to get into the ring with me. It's as clear as day. Here's what happened, long story short. So he signed a contract to fight me at 200 pounds and was gonna cut the weight down to 200 pounds. This is not a big cut for him, right? He's a big guy with a ton of weight to lose. So he sent a video into the commission the first time he weighed in at 216 pounds. The commission wanted to track his weight cut to make sure he was doing it in a healthy way. Three weeks later, the commission asked him for an update on his weight. He sends a video weighing 215 pounds, meaning in three weeks, he only lost one pound. So the commission was like, hey man, you're not cutting the weight properly. We don't want you to lose it all in the last day. We're gonna have to change this fight to 205 pounds. My team calls me up, they're like, hey man, do you wanna change, the, they wanna change the weight to 205 pounds, that's a big difference. You normally fight at 190 pounds. Do you wanna do the fight still? I said, no problem, let's do it. 205 pounds, he's gonna have, he already has a weight advantage, height advantage, reach advantage, all of these things, but whatever. I know I can still beat his ass at 205 pounds. And that was that. We move forward, and then today, out of nowhere, his team calls and says, Hasim's not going lower than 215 pounds if the fight's not at 215 pounds, then we're pulling out. My manager goes, fuck you guys. You're not in control of this. We already agreed to five more pounds. He is a big guy, losing 10 pounds. Everyone knows in the sport of boxing that is an easy weight cut. People do that. UFC champions cut 25 pounds overnight to make weight. A 10 pound weight cut for a heavyweight is nothing. This is clearly an excuse. So they say, okay, the fight's not at 215, we're out. The biggest payday of his lifetime. Okay. Part two. The biggest payday of his life times 10. And he's fumbling it. For what? Because he knows he's going to get knocked out by me. The pressure starts to set in. And it's exactly what happens with all of these guys. Same shit with Tommy Fury. I'm sick of it. I'm devastated. I apologize to everyone on the undercard. Amanda Serrano, I know you were working hard. Ashton Silva, I know you were working hard. This is absurd. There's nothing I can do about it. I apologize to the fans and uh, I'll be back at some point. Say, okay, the fight's not at 215, we're out. The biggest payday of his life times 10. Okay, well that was Jake Paul's side. Let's see what Hasim has to say about this. Let's see what he has to say about this. If he didn't delete it. This man's tweeting his ass off. Okay, that's part two. Let me go ahead and kill all this internet cat right. Jake Paul got going on for y'all. Look, I'm, I'm a bridge of weight. Uh, I campaign at bridge of weight, um, or otherwise known as heavyweight uh, outside of the WBC. Now look, um, I, I, I signed a contract to make 200 pounds within the, the three or three and a half weeks that I had to do it, but I couldn't do it. I sent, my body simply would not let me do it, would not let me get down to 200 pounds. But, where in boxing do y'all see them canceling fights a whole week in advance? I didn't even get my last week to get down as low as I could. Um, I told this man, it's, it's penalties involved. Keep the purse. Keep the purse. I fight you for the, for the $5,000 minimum. That's how, that's how much it means to me, and that's how much faith I have in knocking him out. I would have beat this man uh, uh, 
with, with, with one hand, just like I did in the gym. But let him tell it, he already beat my ass in the gym when I was 230. So if you beat me up while I was 230, what's the problem in fighting me while I'm 215? What's the problem fighting me at 210? It's, it's, it's clearly uh, 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 them not wanting to fight. It's not me pulling out the fight. It's them not wanting to fight. I never said that I didn't want this fight. And, and the only thing that I can conclude is that they scared. I mean, they tried to drain me down. I told them, I, look, I ain't going to be able to get all the way down to cruiserweight. I mean, it, it was it was a, a astronomical feat in and of itself from the beginning. From the beginning, when they called me to spar him for, for Anderson Silva, I told them where my weight was. They knew where my weight was, and they knew I was going to have to lose about a pound a day for 30 days in order to make 200 pounds. Now, with all that aside, still, if I wasn't able to make the weight, they knew that we had a replacement on the side the whole time. He's been doing everything I've been doing this whole camp. The Muslim boxer, Muslim Kaysen, who campaigns at Cruiserweight, who wouldn't have to have drained himself, who could have saved the show. And Jake Paul could have fought a real boxer, but he don't want to fight a real fighter. He don't want to fight a real fight. He wanted to drain me down and, and, and fight a... He wanted to drain me down and, and, and fight a shell of me, which I'm not going to allow him to do. Now, they didn't they didn't move the goalposts and uh, move the finish line closer and have me weigh in all these extra days early and, 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 and then pull a plug on the fight like, like we don't want to fight. My team's 100% still wanted to fight, still ready, willing, and, and, and able to, to knock out Jake Paul on August 6th. So y'all blame your boy Jake Paul for this fight not happening. It ain't had nothing to do with, 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 with me or my team. We let them know what the real was, and Jake Paul scared to, to, to make the fight. All he got to do is say, okay, I beat you up at 2.30. I beat you up at 2.15. I'm still coming down and wait. Or uh, I beat you up at 2.10. I'm still, I'm still coming down and wait, but he don't want to do it because he don't want a real competitive fight. He wanted me to be a, a, a shell of myself when we got in there and got in that ring. Okay. Okay, so they both spoke their piece and personally, Hansi, man, you signed a contract for 200 pounds. That's, that's what the contract is. Like, you should have not. You should have made that a clause off before you even signed it. You should have said, "Oh, I can't go down to." Even if you did tell him, but then you still, you signed a contract for two hundred pounds. This is your fault, man. This is your fault. And you're saying you have a replacement. Like number one, the Jake Paul already, he got you so much followers, made you bigger than who you were. Like I didn't know who you were before this. I don't think anyone did. Um, uh, he doesn't want to do that for someone else. Like. He already like got you big up, but yeah, I don't want to be here. Like me personally, I'm not the biggest Jake Paul fan, but I'm gonna say what is on my mind because this is not right. You can't just pull out what like you can't be saying this stuff one week before the fight and then being like, oh, why is it? Why is it? Um, uh, why is the fight not not happening? It's because you're not on in weight, and if it and if he goes to two fifteen, what's the point of that? That's just, like. He's not gonna risk his reputation just to fit your needs. Oh my god. But yeah, that was about two sets. I only did this because I did react to the press conference and that's not happening. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow my socials. Now I'm out. Peace.